All right. How you do? We're, we're back, and Charlie did not accidentally load a state and have to redo a bunch. Of, whatever. It didn't happen. <laughs> Speaking of loading state. Ah, I don't accept that. I scan it. Why does one always spawn beneath me and then just like run right fucking at me? Doesn't even give me a chance to move back to the path. Alright, let's fucking do this. So, uh, what was not on video and uh, does not exist anymore was a failed attempt at the temple run where I remembered how much of a pain in the ass temple run is. So he's gonna cheese it with fairy now? No, his fairy actually costs an inordinate amount of magic. You're gonna cheese it with jump now? No, I'm just gonna... Death one. Well, you have a few more of those, right? I wanna, uh, just emphasize something really fast. Something that should be, uh, taking note when you see, like, how much difficulty and everything I'm having with this. I did optimal, like, nonsense strategies in order to get max level. Like, something you would never actually probably do. And this is still a fucking nightmare for me. Yeah, this is Nintendo hard. Yeah, I hate that phrase. It's the phrase of Nintendo hard. But mm -hmm. I... I think that's the most accurate definition of what this is. Well, I don't know. I think with this, we can uh, kind of think that uh, maybe they didn't know exactly what they were doing in game design back then. I mean, they're still designing to eat quarters. That's what uh, Nintendo Hard speaks to me of. Possibly. I could I could see that from like a game design standpoint, yeah. I don't what's in this part of the cave. You know what game I really like downstabbing in? Star Ocean 2 go on. Because what you had was you controlled one of your characters and the thing you could tell him to do is just down like jump stab and he would like go from the from like a hundred feet away is land on the people because they're they start on the other side of the uh, battlefield. And if you did that you could take on all of the enemies yourself before your idiot uh, AI controlled uh, people died to the uh, enemies around. So, that's what I really liked, jumping in there. And then what happened is you got levels high enough and they upgraded your uh, your downstab to make it not hit people. I'm sorry. That's fine. I, I, I got betrayed by jump. <laughs> I can't believe this You're on the day, the day of my stream, I would be betrayed by jump. So, this one doesn't quite have the same uh, do a do a dungeon, get an item thing, because it seems like your items are all spells in this, right? Uh, it sort of does. There are dungeon items, but they're not, like, you don't use them in the, uh, the... Sorry. Sorry, give me a moment here. Ha having okay. a problem. Um... <laughs> 
You don't use them in the uh, in the action stages like you would in any other Zelda game. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could actually block that, and no, I can't. Um, your items are just keys and stuff like that sort of stuff. Holy crap, we're here. Holy shit. I saved on a new slot, because I don't trust myself. <laughs> All and there right. we go. We have, we have access. How many extra lives do you have? Uh, I have one other life. <laughs> Hence why I said we might just be making another run anyway. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, I want to head left first. Also, hello, welcome to Birdman. They, they share similar traits with other enemies, but have a ton of health. And well, just a pain in the ass. Aren't birds just evolved forms of lizardmen? Did that slime just take more than one hit? I think everything in this place just may have extra health. Also, yes. Yeah, I, I guess you could look at it that way. Behold, the royal slime. <laughs> what the fuck is this hole? If you kill that slime, you're gonna get a lot of experience. Alright. That screen's done. Yeah, health of enemies in the Great Temple is double. That makes sense. Oh, there's a one-up right there. So all I had to do is get that one-up. Awesome. Hmm. Right, so I'm gonna I head right. I think those slimes kind of look like uh, viruses from Dr. Mario. Except they're not dancing as well. I could see that. Is this a free screen? It's just a screen that's like, hey, look at this cool lava bridge. All right, I'll take it. Oh, now that you're here, does it does the game over start you from here? No. Okay. No, it does not. That would be a nice thing. <laughs> I think you forget that we are in the end game of Zelda 2. So, what does Reflect actually do? Uh, reflects wizard spells. And it's the only way to kill wizards. It permits you to bounce. So, the rest of these things that are throwing projectiles wouldn't be affected by them? Maybe? <laughs> Who knows? Talking about the birds uh, throwing their... Ah! Throwing their hello, head. sir! <laughs> Goodbye, sir! Cannot believe I died to a slime. Also, after I had gotten past the guy, the 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 blue knight, but worse, because he does not care. If... Once again, we are in impasse with an enemy. This is actually a terrifying enemy. So either I uh, third knight, ultimate warrior. I let off the down button and take a hit, and then get chased, or. I stay here forever and accept my fate. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right! I forgot about this part of this room. Goodbye! <laughs> also, yes, I will purposely submit my chat to the noise of downstabbing forever. That's why I want your stream with the sound off. 
What are these side rooms? Just nothing? Okay. <laughs> you know what? I think the thing about this dungeon is it has real uh, Metroidvania feel to it. But With, without the Metroid? Yeah, without, you know, the joy of discovering anything. Like, the joy of discovering anything because the thought is fucking hell. The thought in the back of your head is fuck, if I die, I have to make that run again. That's right. Okay, goodbye. Oh, you're unblockable. Okay. I'm like, alright, this is a red robe. What's your fucking hellish gimmick? Unblockable. I wonder if they, if they, if they ever tried to make a Zelda Metroidvania type game. That'd be as good as it sounds. I think it has potential. That sounds interesting, to say the least. I'm sorry, I mean, every time I pause and I look to the side, I am consulting the map. <laughs> they can't see you look to the side, actually. Alright, but they can see me pause for a period of time. Oh yeah, you can punch the bird statues for potential magic. Uh, I believe every red pot is actually marked on this map, so that's why I haven't been doing it. Fuck me! Oh, is Legacy of the Wizard kind of like that? Alright. Uh, Zelt. <laughs> I defeat the Blue Knight. I am just... A little on edge because I am actually on my last life. <laughs> okay, Bridge, you have uh, you have made your argument, and I accept. <laughs> we uh, we take no prisoners in the Great Temple. All right, I have made it to the One Up doll. No, I have not. The fuck is this? Alright, I think I'm overreacting. <laughs> Hello, giant bubble. I think I have enough for the life spell, so... Do that. I think I'll have to run from somebody in this room. Yeah, okay. But I should make it to the full life and the extra life. All right. Final save state just right here. I don't think I'll need it 100%. A puzzle. I accept your puzzle. Alright, and then the other side is the one up. Good, alright. That's a really good room. That is a good room because it's not that hard. Now let's actually yeah. see if there are... Actually, those bird statues might have had red uh, pots in them. I should have been checking them because it doesn't seem like this map, even though it looks like it's done by the same person, doesn't actually have the, uh, the pots marked. Are they not random drops? Uh, maybe not? I don't know. A, a different map I was looking at for a different dungeon, for a Dungeon 6 had them marked. Okay. Which makes me believe that they are not random drops. Okay. Let's just take a peep at the map again. I go left here. And probably we'll have Hell Stairman. Yep. The 
Mel Sturman? You heard me. Is he related to Hot Goldman? Despite not having the same last name. Wait. I. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. Big move number one. I could use a refresh. I just need to get to the boss room. And then I can make attempts to clear the boss. Hello, King Slime! Don't let it run away. Yeah, magic, but... Another quick save. I believe you can probably be forgiven for getting all the saves for this ridiculous place now. Oh! I have magic. Final quick save. And I think I have enough magic. Oh jeez, I think. Figure out how to kill this boss this run. Hmm. How do you hurt him? This is the one you had to use Thunder on, or is that a different one? Yeah, it's already been used. I think I just you, you can't hit him with up stabs or anything. Just wait till it gets down low, yeah. Yeah, if you use jump, can you just downstab him on the forehead? It seems like the up and whoa. Uh, do I, have enough? I have enough. Okay, let's see. No, it, yeah, the up and down stabs do not work. Ah. Uh. You know. Or a sprite that uses three colors. Uh, this Zelt, this Link sprite is not too bad. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, maybe a little. Fuck. Pressure. Preoccupied. Yeah. I think I can pull that off with this. With what I got, I think I can do this.
which will leave me a death and then a refresh for the actual final boss. Yeah, that's feasible. So is uh, this boss harder than the final boss, or are they both? Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. The the well, kind of. Uh, the final boss has a thing that you can do to kind of cheese it in a way. I'll, you know, because I'll have a save state with like full everything right before the boss. If I can feasibly beat this one, um, I will give it an attempt. Legit, because if you fight the final boss, uh, fair and square, it's actually a pretty interesting fight. Fuck me. Um, but it is just ungodly hard. Wait, can you get to this boss before, uh, like, without having thunder? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, you can. Entirely. Zelda 2. Yeah. Well, at least if you continue, you're not stuck here. It's, it's fair, I guess. What a hard boss. Damn it. I think it's just nine. Let me just make sure. Quick load. Yeah, and it's just hit nine. Oh, remember that. But yeah, I'm doing this for expedience sake of you know, videos and everything, but yeah, imagine getting this far, getting to this thing, and then dying. Hmm. Can you put on your shield or anything to uh, protect against those flying flame things, or... I, I have just... the shield spell on. Oh. But this is fucking Ace's run. Got him. Nice. And then the final quick save. Yeah, one thing I can say is this game really uses its limited palette well. Yeah, yeah, it really does, actually. Alright, here's the final boss. This man, guarding the Triforce, and is like, prove yourself to me. By defeating yourself. Ah, uh, Nintendo once again making an evil version of the main character. Good job. Yeah. So that is the origins of Shadow Link. I... It is a really hard, really kind of cool boss fight. Now, is it always the same Shadow Link, or does each Link cast a new shadow? Mm. Where's the timeline for that? <laughs> well, in Twilight Princess, aren't you taught how to be Link by another Link? Uh, it is... So, okay. <clears throat> we want to get into dumb Zelda timeline shit right here. Oh, we do. Um... So, the Twilight Princess is the timeline where the Hero of Time fails to stop Ganon. And the gods have to intervene. And they banish him to the Twilight Realm. Right? Um, so, the, the Link that is teaching... The, the, the skeleton that teaches you moves is the ghost of the failed Hero of Time. I call shenanigans on that, that skeleton talks. Yeah, Link talks. He answers yes or no questions. And screams. A lot. I see we are at impasse, my rival. Who shall make the first move? 
Brother! <laughs> Yeah, this is basically the final fight of uh Haha Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> we are both almost expended. You shall win this final fight. Fucker's using the jump spell too. Look at this fucker using jump. <laughs> I think it would be really cool if in this you guys shared a magic bar. God. Ah. <laughs> that was so good. Oh man, that was so close! Man, if only you did the thing, the Ninja Gaiden thing where you both jumped in the air, slashed each other, and then landed, and only one of you fell down. I was thinking it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna do this legit. I feel like I can pull it off. I'm gonna do this legit. Immediately use the safe, safe states. Well, I meant like the fight legit, not using the uh, the trick. Which the trick is if you uh, if you sit in the left corner and just down uh, uh, like kneel stab, um, it kind of breaks his script a little bit, and it's really easy to get hits off on him. So the doofus guarding the Triforce there, if you die, does he say, oh, well, I guess Ganon's gonna come back, then uses it to wish Ganon back to life? Apparently. What a jerk. Also, it's a little unfair because Shadow Link gets fucking hit. Like, gets damage on hit. That's not exactly a fair fight. Oh, 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 I gotta use my spell. Okay. Get him. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do work. No, 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 time out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one more. Come on, get him. Alright, we gotta do this in the center of the arena. Stop For some up. reason, in my head, it. I have... Oh, good. I was just going to say, it's got to look cool. Got him! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> in my head, during that fight, I had the uh, the Star Trek Amok Time uh, battle music. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. God, this is actually a fun fight. Yeah, it's a it's a good thing. Like if you, well, I mean it's it's really hard. So like it does suck if you get that far and then you die. <laughs> but um, that's actually a really fun fight to just do legit and just try and one on one them. Is Zelda asleep or dead? Asleep. She she okay. drops into like an eternal slumber or some crap, and uh, you need to get the. Finish the three Triforces. Or find the third one. I think that one's Courage, because Ganon has power, and Zelda breaks up Wisdom in the first game, and you reassemble Wisdom to get to her, and then you have to discover Courage. There we go. Well, oh, yeah, th th that's what the, that's what it is, is, um... In order to revive Ganon, blood of his slayer needs to be spread on his ashes. So that's... Ah. Well, now you're done this game. Yeah. Which means, A, you don't have to play this game anymore. No, but it's you actually know. a really good game.
Yeah, you legit like it. You're just annoyed by it. It's just that that it's seriously just the Great Temple Run is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Which is a shame because the final boss is really good. And Death Mountain is the biggest difficulty spike I think I've seen in video games. <laughs> Well, once again, I'm pretty sure they still have an arcade mentality when determining difficulty for these things. No, by far. But when this came out, all the kids who were playing it had one game. So it's like, I have to play this game to death. Remember when I was a kid and I had Adventures in the Magic Kingdom on the NES? Jeez, I'm I sorry. played the hell out of that one. Oh... <sighs> But that is, yeah, and then if you hit start, you can, uh, yeah, now there's, there's two here. There's Link and Newbie. And I think Ooh. if I hit this, <laughs> yeah, it's a new, it's a new, it's actually a cool new game plus because it's new game plus. You don't have any items or any of the, the things like increase your actual max stuff, but you have all the spells and your max level. Oh, cool. But, um, that's gonna be it for Zelda 2. I don't know. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do next. Maybe. Well, see, so you're the monkey. Play Monkey Island. <laughs> <laughs> I just want someone to play Monkey Island, damn it. Maybe. What? Maybe. Love the game. I'll think about it. It's a bit of a okay. long game. I might do, like, Castlevania 1. Oh, fine. All right. But until then, see y'all.